This morning we have new details involving the investigation into a COVID funding kickback scheme that was taking place in St. Louis County. The county counselor has released subpoenas in the federal probe of former county jail official Anthony Tony Weaver. Alex Fees is joining us live in Clayton this morning with the money involved. Alex. Michelle, Tony Weaver is a former St. Louis County Jail Change Management Coordinator. He was fired last month after those federal charges were announced against him. Weaver is accused of trying to rig applications, allegedly, for federal COVID funds for businesses. Now, FBI officials at the time said they caught Weaver urging a business owner to lie and say his company was closed down so he would qualify. Now, County Counselor Beth Orwick is releasing subpoenas the county received as part of that federal investigation. The three subpoenas sought information on 14 businesses that applied for a grant through the county's small business relief program set up early in the pandemic to provide financial assistance. Of the 14 businesses, four received $15,000 grants. That's the maximum amount awarded per business. The other 10 did not supply the required documentation to support their applications. Now, county officials say with the strong interest in the program, county council members asked that more funding be available. And in the end, some $19.2 million in grants were issued to more than 1,600 businesses in St. Louis County. Now, coming up at our next half hour, what part of town those businesses named in the subpoena are located in? Live this morning in Clayton, Alex Fees, five on your side. All right, thank you, Alex. This morning,